I take a survey about EU referendum, United Kingdom, and also an, an it is about EU referendum. So I mean, I mean this and just. <laughs> can you record me? Can you ask me the questions? Huh? These questions. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name is Maureen Fatma. What is the European Union? Uh, the European Union is a bunch of countries that have got together to make trade agreements and other arrangements, like currency, um, so that they're working in cooperation rather than against each other. Okay. How much money does the UK contribute to the EU and uh, how much we get in return? I have absolutely no idea. I know they're more or less the same. Yeah. We probably get more back than we put in. Why is the referendum held? Why is the referendum held? Oh, yeah. um, to ask people if they want to stay in the EU or go out of the EU. And they're asking people because it's such an important question rather than deciding it in Parliament. Okay. What the benefits do you think EU brings to the UK? I think it brings huge benefits. I think it brings us the ability to move around Europe without boundaries. I think it bring, gives us the idea of working in other places. Um, we get lots of ideas and um, people from other countries, lots of skills, lots of um, money. And also, I think it gives us protection because we're working as a group of countries rather than just one isolated country. Okay. What do you believe the negatives of being in the EU are? I think sometimes there are regulations that we could do without. Um, I think, um, I don't think the Euro is a very good um, project, to be honest. I don't think it's worked particularly well for Greece. I think that's a terrible things have happened to Greece, but there again, they were of their making, but hey -ho. They shouldn't have been allowed in the Euro to begin with. When do you think EU was established? When was it established? Yeah. I don't know when the EU was established, but I know when the last referendum was, which was um, on June the 5th in 1970, something or another. It was my um, 18th birthday, so it was my first voting <laughs> ever. Yeah. yeah. All right. It was in the 50s, wasn't it? 40s, 40s, 50s, originally. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember, yeah. 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 Uh, do you think Britain should be in or out? I think it should be in. I believe it should be in very, very strongly. I believe it should be in. I don't think this is the time to start being isolationist. And also, I hate all of that, um, what's it called, um, where you, th you think insular. You know, you think, well, right, we want Britain for British people and we want only British people who come here. And um, we'll keep you lot out. All of you people over there will keep you out over there and we can manage on our own because we are fantastic. We, it's not the days of the Teresa. Uh, Teresa, what's the European Union? Okay, so the European Union is a group of countries that have got together to help each other out. Um, they all put lots of money into the pots um, and if it's needed by any particular country, like Greece for instance, as a bearer. Okay. How much money does the UK contribute and how much will return? Okay, so the UK contributes about £350 million pounds, and I'm sure we get back just under a million of that. Alright, and why is the referendum held? Why has it been held? Mm. Um, because there's a lot of public outcry about the EU and there's a lot of people that have issues with it and the government have decided that they will ask the general public whether they want to be in or out. Okay, what the benefits do you think EU brings to the UK? Um, probably the benefits would be cheaper imports, um, obviously we can export to a lot of countries, we get a lot of, um, I don't like the word immigrants, but other pe people from other countries that come in and do jobs that the Brits don't like doing. No. Okay, and what do you believe the negatives of being EU? Okay, and along that same line, all these people from different countries are coming in here and taking um, advantage of our benefit system and our NHS. And when do you think the EU was established? 
It's been going for mm, a good 30 years. Alright, uh, do you think Britain should be in or out? I am going to stand on the fence for the moment. Yeah. Is that okay? Yes. And what is the purpose of the EU? What is the purpose of yeah. it? The EU. Like I said, it's a group of countries working together for the benefit of everybody. Thank you very much. Hello. Hi. What's your name? My name is Richard Morrison. And what's the European Union feature? The European Union is like an organization where countries put to, like they work together mm -hmm. to decide the country or uh, they say Europe itself, like what is going to decide for the future and what is better for the people. Yeah. And, and how much money does the UK contribute to the EU? And how much do you get to the I personally think about a couple of millions, about, if I have to say, I would say 100 million. Do you believe, um, they say, leave campaign, they say 350 million per week. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's why they, that's why they now claim they say we can build uh, every day a hospital 350 million. Wow. That's actually a good point yeah. to have, yeah. Mm. Uh, what's the, the freedom of health? The freedom? Yeah. Uh, the f so what I think about the freedom? No, the freedom. The health freedom. Before it wasn't existed. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think that, well, depends on the people. If the people think that it's the best way of, you know, how the country is going to do it, then I think as you know, I'm not from the EU that yeah. much, so I would say hopefully it, help, it helps the country. Okay. Which also mm. What is the benefit do you think EU brings to the UK? Because you are a generation of this country. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, uh, if we receive the EU leaders and if the EU United Kingdom leaders to EU, mm -hmm. all these days, it has influenced the generation coming. Well, I would say people won't be have that much freedom like me before because mm. they won't be to travel to UK that much mm. and also people who live in other countries won't have that you know they won't be able to visit their families that much just for three months you know. it will be like an American it's gonna be like American laws so it's not I think it's not gonna be a good way of doing things I think they should just stick to the EU and just you know just stay away from mm. and what do you believe the negatives of the in the new way? The negatives? Yeah. Mm, I don't see any negatives in anything. The, 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 the for example, yeah, for example, I for a small example. For some, they said the clean campaign is a more mass immigration people, EU people coming in here, and yeah. that makes influence with the housing mm -hmm. and jobs low. They wanted more mm -hmm. people to come here. They say the some other businesses they take only the European who come in here yes. they don't take with the British people. How do you think about that? Well I can understand that part of uh, being that you know preoccupied because it's true that with more immigrants that means mm. less job for British people. Mm. Uh, the housing will be less painful like won't be that much benefits because mm. everyone's gonna be getting going through lots of difficulties. Mm. So I understand that part that you know, have their own you know, laws to restrict and limit people to come to this country. So I think I understand that part, but I think they should still stick because people are, you know, there's more quality diversity in this country, and that's why I'm so proud of it. And I should, it should really stick. I mean, there's always ways to improve things. So I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, when do you think? EU was established. The EU, mm. I mean United Kingdom. I think yeah. EU, uh, the EU, EU European Union. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, I would say in the 1990s. Is that correct? So the no, it's the more the about the 1950s. After World 1950s, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah because 1990 yeah. was before in the United Kingdom so was joining. Yeah. Hello. Uh, What's your name? Uh, my name is Liam Hardy. And Liam. What's the European Union? Uh, What's the European Union? The European Union is uh, rather simply all the, all the countries within Europe yeah. that have agreed mm. to terms. Can't 
take from it. Or simply, it's, uh, it's like United Nations, yeah, but for yeah, Europe. Yeah, for you, okay, okay. How much do you, does the UK contribute to the EU, and how much do you think, do you think? I think it defies the cost of being within the uh, European Union is 7 million. What is the European Union? A European Union is a club who are paying their money and sharing their ideas. How much money does the UK contribute to the EU and how much do we get in return? I, I think there's that's it's a tricky question, but Leave campaign they can't claim it. they be we be in the EU three hundred and fifty million per week. But and remain campaign they say we don't pay that much, we pay less money for that. And we get ten billion um, a year in the EU. Why is the referendum being held? Uh, because uh, that was a political issue. They come up with want us to get uh, votes, so that's why he wants he just gave to the people a referendum. What benefits do you think the EU brings to the UK? Uh, EU brings with a lot of things like a uh, jobs, making more jobs, and also like a. Uh, Rights, rights. What do you believe the negatives of being in the EU, EU are? Oh, that's, I mean, it's a tricky question. So, but, and there's a, they say to people, there's a lot, no less democracy. And also, they complain like uh, immigration, they say we can't control EU immigration. When do you think the EU was established? Uh, I think it was established after World War II. Do you think Britain should be in or out? I uh, don't think, still I can't, I don't know how I can, maybe I think it would be in, uh, I'm not sure. If you don't vote and yeah. there's a problem, yeah. who will you complain to? You can complain if you don't vote because you already you did vote, so you don't, that's not your right to complain anyone. And what's the purpose or aim of the EU? EU cooperation on helping each other. That's What's your name? Saki, hi. Yeah. Michael Hill. Michael Hill. Yeah. And Michael, and are you happy with the referendum result? Wait, can you repeat are that? You, are you happy with the referendum result? The result for the referendum? Um, I'm not happy, no. Why? Um, and I'm, I'm unhappy because I think it's a step backwards for the UK. Okay. Would you change your thought now if you could? Would I change my vote? Yeah. Um, no, I would stay. I would keep the same vote, which would be to stay in Europe, because um, that's what I believe we have to do. Okay. Who do you think that will be next prime minister? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, it's been suggested that Boris Johnson might be a prime minister, um, so I think he may be in the running. But I'm not sure that people trust him. Um, I believe there are a number of conservatives lining up for the job, but I'll be honest with you, I take very little interest in who they are yeah. and why they want to be Prime Minister. Freeman or the campaign Freeman or Leave campaign, well, if or they Hello. Can. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name is Carl Sinclair. And Carl Sinclair, are you happy with the referendum, the result? Um, yeah, I'm happy, yeah. Why? Um, because it's, because it's, um, 
it's good and I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's good. Right. Yeah. Mm. Would you change your thought now if you could? Um, no, I wouldn't change my thought. No. Who do you think will be the next prime minister? Uh, that's really kind of tough tough one but um i don't uh to be honest um i, I, I don't want i don't want oh, golden brown to be bad but i, I want to be honest i want i want a better prime minister that can that can um that that, that can uh run the run this country do you think what direction what direction do you think that we will you can go now if we left you um i think with the e I think the UK would I think the UK will do better without the EU because um, I mean in the EU it kinda it's it, it kinda don't I think England in the EU the England way it kind it kinda not don't fit in the EU because you know because our country's falling down and that. But without the EU mm -hmm. it's better and not just that, the governments are planning to to they got plans for England and that about the EU. Okay. Do you think we will be part of the single market if we, if and if we left the EU? Um, pro probably not. Probably not. Yeah. You don't? Think nah. No. Oh. Why do you think the older generation voted mainly to leave EU? Um, basically, basically, um, you know, the only good thing, the only good thing that 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 includes like the EU because of it basically, but the EU, people for I mean that like certain they crossing, I think they're crossing the border for people to not come in and 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 you and you make it harder for people to live to live in England without that because they got to go through a visa and that. So so I mean we they said massive division the whole the UK yeah so do you think wh what do you think what do you think that uh, there's a deficiency with the whole the UK community because they say some people they make some people they say oh there's some people who resident present for a long time in here maybe they worry how do you, how do you think about that um would they think they state the people who are already in here yeah yeah yeah, yeah definitely yeah mm -hmm. Uh, so how do you, how do you respond? Because the EU leader is they respond in angry points. They say if we left the EU, yeah. How, how do you how, how do you think that the EU respond? They responded to the EU angry. Uh, it's because they're not happy. They're not basically they're not happy with the EU because you know you know because of our country. This country is being like absolutely poor and that. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Teresa. Teresa, are you happy with the referendum result? Um, no. I was a voter for Remain and I was very shocked that people voted to leave. Yeah. All right. Would you change your fight now? Would you change your vote if you could now? No, I would still vote to Remain. I think we should have stayed with the EU. I think that. Um, people's opportunities to travel and to work abroad and to support their economy is going to be hindered by this and things will get more expensive now. Okay. Who do you think will be next to Prime Minister? Because we don't have a Prime Minister now. No, that's yeah. a really hard one um, because none of them are very good candidates either, unfortunately. Um, I really couldn't take a guess at it. I really, really couldn't take a guess because I think there's a lot of infighting within the political parties um, which could also create a lot of change as well so I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to say and right. um, and we left the EU now and uh, what do you think what direction do you think will go now we have if, as we left now EU um like I say I think in terms of the economy things will start to get quite expensive um, I think that socially people are going to start to get quite angry and i think that i think that we might unfortunately see some unrest as people start to turn on other cultures or or turn on communities that they think shouldn't be residing in the uk 
um, and benefiting from the UK system of income support and and stuff. So I think that we're going to go through a bit of an uneasy time in the near future. Okay. Do you think we'll be part of single market? I wouldn't necessarily say a single market because um, that encompasses an awful lot of stuff. But I think we we would always be better the more of us that there are and the the more more open to negotiation we are with each other. As we think now, because now you know there is a, a lot of response, angry response with the EU. Mm -hmm. They saying if we left the EU, if they left. If they leave the EU, just exit as the EU Commission Chancellor. Yeah. He say EU. If the UK left, just exit, no exit. How do you think the response from the EU? Um, I think right now it's probably a bit of a knee-jerk reaction. So I think you know, I think that that that's the kind of response that we expected that they want us to start acting on the vote and making those changes. But I don't think that it will happen as quickly as people think that it will. So it was an expected reaction, but I don't think that it's going to happen right away. Mm -hmm. Why do you think the older generation, 40 mile, mile need to leave? Because 70 or 90 percent of older people, they mm -hmm. want to leave. Um, because they're reminiscent of a previous time um, and, you know, they remember how the United Kingdom used to be, they remember how England used to be and unfortunately they would like things to go back to those those ways, um, you know, back when they were younger and when we first joined the EU and but maybe even before we joined the EU as well and they will remember that time. Unfortunately, the world is not the same anymore. No, thank you. Hello. And hold on, and are you happy with the referendum results? Um, I think in terms of the result, um, we have to respect the fact that it was um, the result of a democratic process. Yeah. Um, I think you have to sort of understand why people vote, voted that way. Um, and regardless of the result now, it's about how we move forward beyond the result. Um, I think it's a bit late to say happy or unhappy at this stage now. Um, I mean, the result is what it is. Um, and therefore it, it's about what happens next, it's about how that process is managed uh, in a sort of mature and intelligent manner. Uh, there's a massive division with the, I mean, with the community or with the whole the country, if under you. And do you think would they change their part now if they could? I think one of the things that is starting to come out of the woodwork is the fact that the Leave campaign said things which, quite frankly, weren't true. Uh, and it's interesting to see them backpedal now in the news and say, no, we didn't say that. That poster isn't explicit in the way you think it is. Um, so I think and that's a very worrying thing. Uh, referendums always split people. I think there was a real concern over the fact that people voted without properly thinking about or being given the information they deserve to be given. Um, certainly the poll seems to suggest that people would vote a different way. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, because when you ask people, it may be that they kind of wish to not expose the way that they voted. We also have to remember that there's been a lot of disaffected people right across the country, across many, many different kind of backgrounds and we need to start uh, listening to what they've got to say. Um, yeah. And how, who do you think will be next to Prime Minister? Because now we don't have a Prime Minister, the Prime Minister was reduced to sign. So at the moment we still have a Prime Minister. Um, the Prime Minister will still be David Cameron up until the point he stands down. Uh, which will be uh, October if not before. Um, in terms of who might take over, I think him leaving has created a really interesting vacuum mm -hmm. and I'm not entirely sure is the honest answer. You've got Boris Johnson who is obviously a very populist choice but not necessarily amongst the people in his own party. 
Labour, so would he have such the same issues that Jeremy Corbyn's facing in terms of galvanising people around a cause? You've got Michael Gove, um, who is very traditionalist, but again, I think some of the issues with him is that he's not very popular. He's certainly not going to win young voters over. You've got Theresa May, but she unfortunately didn't vote to uh, leave the EU. So she is perhaps an unwise choice from that perspective. So it'd be an interesting leadership battle, certainly. Uh, we don't know now um, with the country economically. What do, you, what do you think? What direction do you think the UK will go now? And we have we left EU. I think the real concern is that what we need is to get some very clever people together to make sure that what happens next is as managed as well as it can be. My concern is that that's not going to happen. Um, it requires people actually working together, which seems to be the message of this whole campaign is that we don't need other people, we don't need that, but actually I think hopefully the last few days of talks is that we need that more than ever. And if there's anything to come out of the referendum result, maybe that's the message that should go out to everybody is that we should now be working together and with our European partners um, and with our international partners to try and manage this situation and try and ensure that it impacts the least on the people to whom actually their livelihood, their survival yeah. uh, matters. Um, this isn't just a case of uh, looking at the big financial institutions, it's also the matter of looking at people's welfare, people's welfare at work, uh, and it's about those really key fights and, and attentions to detail that need to happen for people who cannot defend themselves. Um, and sadly, if that doesn't happen, lots and lots of people, lots of innocent people, are being put at risk. Do you think you? We will be part of the single market, if, if tough, we have left it already EU. No, I think that there will be something different. I think that we may, may be allowed to be entered in the single market, but I think the chances are it will be very different to what we see today. Um, so what shape that will take, who knows? Um, I think Realistically, we want to start thinking about a more global market trend anyway, uh, which is what the Bank of England and think people that are looking at. So it may be that towards the end that the single market evolves, which would actually probably again would be quite quite a useful benefit from it. What? Why do you think the older generation voted mildly to leave because it's about 90 percent in older people they vote to leave? Why do you think the older generation they vote? Um, I think it was really interesting to see how different ages voted. Um, you had the very young who voted sort of 64, 65 percent to uh, remain in the EU. And you saw the very old generation, ones who fought in World War II, voting to remain. And you had a pocket in between who'd seen uh, rises in immigration, who have felt disempowered by politics, disenfranchised by their own community. Um, and this was a stand that they were making against that. The concern that I have is that making a change like this because you feel hard done by mm. is perhaps a very selfish attitude to have taken. Um, I don't think it was taken maliciously. Mm. I think people feel that they can go back to a time so back in the 1950s, 60s and actually that's not possible. Turning the clock back is impossible. And it's this fantasy, and, and unfortunately I think it's a fantasy that's been fed by politics, uh, and I'm rightly so, and I think that there's a real danger that that fantasy will fall um, sort of around them now. And I think that we're starting to see that happen over and over again. This idea that we can take control, 
it, it's all a, a, a big uh, ideological um, fairy tale that they're telling these people, and sadly these people are buying it. But at the moment, we don't have a prime minister. We are just temporary prime minister. The prime minister will sign until October. And the EU they say, come on, we not we don't need more deals, so they need quick to discuss. How do you think that they how do they respond to the EU countries? Uh, I think the other countries are deeply concerned. Mm. I think that particularly with what happened financially, mm. um, I think the EU wants it done very quickly. Mm. Um, whereas the UK uh, would li like to wait. Um, what influence they can have over us choosing when and when we can't leave, I don't know. They can certainly put political pressure on, but actually, if the Prime Minister is leaving, that may not be meaningless. Mm. Um, it's in our, as a country, I think it's in our interests to map the process out very carefully, mm. involve as many different factions within sort of, uh, Scotland, Ireland, Wales as possible. Uh, and to make sure that it's non-party politics. I don't know what he said, so I'm not agreeing with what he said. Right. So, so, do you think the EU now are they feeling like, I say, hostile with the United Kingdom? As they say, we, you mean you show you don't want us? Like, as they said. The president of Commission EU is a exit as ex ex. So we don't. How do you think they respond? To their I comments? think that there will be some members in the EU who will feel very hostile towards the UK. Um, I think there will be others that will be more pragmatic and more understanding. I think the fact that 48.1% of the nation voted to uh, remain in the EU. Uh, does speak volumes. I think it speaks volumes to the right people as well. Uh, but fifty-two percent chose.